Hello everyone and welcome to our Jewelry Basics video. Today we will be showing you the findings and the tools that we are going to use for making our jewelry. As you can see we have some basic findings and tools here. The first thing that we have here are some tweezers. We have three types of tweezers here. You can see a flat nose one, a pointed one and a curved one. These are all different tools that you are going to need. These are basically used for opening and closing the jump rings. You can see we have a jump rings here that we attach our hooks to or we attach beads to. We have different colors in jump rings here as you can see we even have different sizes. Here we have slightly bigger ones then some medium sized ones and smaller ones. You can get them in different colors as you can see we have a slightly copperish golden, golden an antique silver and a silver color here. Here we have some closed jump rings that we can use for our bead jewelry. They do not open, they are closed. You will know how to use them once you see our beaded jewelry video. These are some small jump rings. Then we have here our eye pins. You can see. These also you can get in different sizes and colors. Here we have a longer one in silver color and some smaller ones in golden color. They have a loop on one side in which you can attach your beads or laurels, whatever you need for your jewelry. Then we have some head pins here. These are basically just head pins that you can wire through your beads to hang them to your jewelry. Then we have some stud post or stud base here. You can see, you get them in different colors and styles, styles and designs. These are just stud bases with a hook at the bottom so that you can attach your beads or your paper jhumkas or whatever you need. Then we have stoppers here. You get these also you can get in different colors. We have a silver one here, a metal one and a rubber one here. You can see these are small transparent rubber ones. Then we have our hooks here. These air hooks. Even these you get in different styles these days. We have the basic air hooks here you can see. In a dull golden color, an antique finish, an antique silver silver and a golden color. These are just the simplest and the most basic form of air hooks that we have. Then we have some hoops here. These are known as loops or ear hoops. You can use them to make your jewelry by putting beads inside. We also have some different design hoops. You can hang your beads or laurels from here. We have these in two colors here. Then we have a lobster claws or these. These are used for necklaces and bracelets. They put on one end and on one end you can put a closed jump ring. Attach it to this. These are used as clasps. You can see like this using a jump ring on one side and a lobster claw on one side. Then we have some stoppers as we call them or clinchers. What these do, you can see we have some here, is when you put your bead in your tiger tail wire, here we have some tiger tail or a memory wire as some call it. Once you put your beads and you want to just stop your beads there or you want to protect them. All you have to do is put one of these clinchers inside and using a flat nose pliers here, you are just going to pinch them like this. And they work as stoppers for your wire. 
if you have to make bracelets or necklaces or for other jewelry like this then we have some nylon cord here you can see these are thicker ones 1 mm in diameter you can get these in different colors they are available in many different colors we have them in red and white here then for making our beaded jewelry we'll be needing a beading needles these are number 12 needles that we are using you get them in two sizes small ones like this and bigger ones these are pretty long depends on the purpose of the beading that you have to do you can see the beading thread that we have this is a nylon thread which is a quarter of a millimeter 0.25 mm in diameter which is a pretty fine thread you can use this for beading your seed beads and making your jewelry then we have a wire cutters here when you are making your jewelry and you need to cut something like this like you have this tiger tail that you need to cut or trim from the edge you can't use your normal scissors for it you will need wire cutters like this they are also used for cutting your eye pins or head pins when you've made your jewelry the excess wire that you have will be cut off with it so these are our basic tools and findings that we are going to use for our beaded jewelry if you liked our video you can also watch our other videos and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching our video